afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to St. Mary Parish as we celebrate the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time. As we come together today in the midst of a busy world, we renew ourselves by placing God in the center of our lives. Our celebrant for this Mass is Father Dennis Carnero. Today, let us remember in our prayers, Kathy Sherlock. In reference for the liturgy, please check that you have silenced your cell phones as we open our hearts to God's grace. Thank you. And please join us in singing our opening song, number 754, Build Us a Table, number 754.
your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Vanity of vanities, says Coquelin. Vanity of vanities. All things are vanity. Here is one who has labored with wisdom and knowledge and skill, and yet to another who has not labored over it, he must leave property. This also is vanity and a great misfortune. For what profit comes to a man from all the toil and anxiety of heart with which he has labored under the sun? All his days, sorrow and grief are their occupation. Even at night, his mind is not at rest. This also is vanity. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ in God. 
When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. Put to death, then, the parts of you that, is, that, are, that are earthly, immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and the greed that is idolatry. Stop lying to one another, since you have taken off the old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed for knowledge in the image of its creator. Here there is not Greek and Jew, circumcision and uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, slave, free, but Christ is all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Mr. God. Are useless. 
And therefore, we need to be able to recognize for ourselves. After all, God gives us so many things. If we stop and think for ourselves, we have so many things that we have received purely from God. Simple things like air, water, land, all these things are God's pure gifts to us. God also gives us the abilities to be able to produce more gifts from the gifts that God gives us. But these are ultimately for God's sake. And therefore, today's readings remind us storing up God's gifts for ourselves alone is not worth it. Because ultimately, we cannot take these gifts with us to eternity. We need to be able to use God's gifts on this earth to praise God, to thank God, and to serve God. And therefore, we need to definitely recognize God's gifts for us. We need to be grateful for God's gifts to us. We need to be able to focus on using every single gift that we receive from God in gratitude, but to use them to be able to serve God. Let us today recognize that all that we have are pure gifts from God to be used for God. In the Gospel passage we hear, as of last week, Jesus speaks to Martha and Mary. We hear that Martha receives Jesus into her home and is busy entertaining Jesus with food and comfort. But Jesus says it's not wrong. It is good. But when she complains about her sister Mary, who is sitting at his feet and doing nothing, Jesus says she has chosen the better part. Therefore, we need to recognize that all God's gifts to us are to be recognized to be grateful for and to be used to be able to praise God, thank God and serve God. <coughs> and then Jesus leads us on in the gospel passage with when somebody asks him, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He hears the complaint. But he does not say who's right, who's wrong. <coughs> All that he says is that your brother does what he does and I am no judge to be able to judge him. However, Jesus uses this opportunity to be able to explain in a parable what message is and therefore gives the message of this landowner who had such a successful harvest that he was surprised. But when he thought about what should be done to the harvest, he decided to tear down his small barns and build a huge barn so that he could fill his harvest and also all that he had. But then what comes after is important. He tells himself, I will sit back and say, I have all that I need. Let me rest. Let me eat, drink and be merry. And here is where Jesus gives us the message. Our life here on earth is to be able to use God's gifts to praise God, thank God, and serve God. But it's not that we should be satisfied with our gifts and not want to use them. We need to be able to recognize them, be grateful for them, and to use them to serve God. Let us today, as we reflect on our own readings, 
remind ourselves, first of all, to recognize the gifts that God has given us. And next is to recognize for ourselves, what is God expecting me to do with these gifts? And concentrate on thanking God for the gifts and using them to love God, to serve God, and to be happy with God in the future. Let us stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God.
sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accept the obligation of this spiritual sacrifice. Make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks to Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by His birth, we, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state and by his suffering cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. on whose constant intercession in your presence 
we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation be pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, Dan our Pastor, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed sisters and brothers and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world of all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. exchange our greetings of peace.
the announcements for today. St. Vincent de Paul food, golf, outing and dinner is Monday, August 1st. Information about the outing and dinner is available in the bulletin. Also, tickets for the raffle are available for purchase following Mass today. Proceeds benefit the good work of our St. Vincent de Paul food pantry and ministries. Next weekend is the monthly food drop-off day for our Vincent de Paul food pantry. Food can be dropped off next Saturday, August 6th from 3.30 until 5 p.m. Next Sunday, August 7th, from 9 a.m. until 10.30 a.m. Drop-off takes place at the food pantry door at the southwest corner of the activity center. Thank you for your generosity. Let us now bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Lord, Direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may bound in good works through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Please join us in singing our closing song, number 600. Sing praise to God, number 602.